Chapter Three of True Stories of Wonderful Deeds Stories for Little Folk. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ginger Cucolo. Nelson and Hardy. Lord Nelson was one of the greatest seamen that ever lived. He commanded the British fleet at the Battle of Trafalgar when the navies of France and Spain were beaten, and England was saved from a great danger. He did not look like a famous admiral on board his ship, the Victory, that day. He was a small man, and his clothes were shabby. He had lost one arm and one eye in battle, but with the eye which remained he could see more than most men would too, and his brain was busy planning the course of the coming fight. Just before it began, he went over his ship, giving orders to the crew, and cheering them with kind words, which touched the hearts of the rough men, who loved their leader and were proud of him. England expects every man to do his duty, was the last message he sent them. Every man did his duty nobly that day, though the battle was fierce and long, but it was the last fight of the brave commander. He was shot in the back as he walked the deck with his friend, Captain Hardy, and was carried below. He lay dying for several hours, but, in spite of his great pain, his one thought was of the battle. How goes the day with us? he asked of Hardy, and when told that many of the enemy's ships were taken, he cried eagerly, I am glad. Whip them, Hardy, as they have never been whipped before. Later, when his friend came to tell him that the victory was won, Nelson pressed his hand. Goodbye, Hardy, said he. I have done my duty, and I thank God for it. These were the last words of one of England's bravest sons. End of Nelson and Hardy Recording by Ginger Cucolo